help young players get more confident using their weaker foot. It's something that we sort of come across quite often within our coaching, that players are completely lacking in confidence, who are unsure to how to use their weaker foot and how will actively avoid using their weaker foot throughout training sessions. Today we're going to have a look at how we can help those individuals practice on their own or for you as coaches or parents to give them ideas of how to practice and become better on that weaker side. One of the most important things with developing a weaker foot is making sure that the player is not just focusing on power. That can come later on in the development. It's quite common for someone who wants to try and use their weaker foot to then try and just hit the ball as hard as they can, losing all of their balance, their control, and their technique on the ball. What you must remember is if you want to strike the ball with your weaker foot, you've got to try and remember how you do it exactly on your right foot or your left foot, sorry, your stronger foot. The more that you do that and the more you can transfer that technique from one foot to the other, the easier and the better it will become for the player and the more chance that they'll improve on that weaker side. Initially though, we want to look at keeping the ball closer to the player's foot. So here, as you can see with the next few, this next, next little dribbling drills, we're looking at just close control and dribbling, almost in a figure of eight shape here, just turning in and out of those cones, tight kind of turns with the left and the right foot, depending on whatever side is weaker. As you turn, you want to keep close to the cones, you want to bend your knees, and you want to make sure you're keeping the ball close to your foot as possible. Comes normal. It takes a long time to improve or get your weak side better as comfortable as you're strong, but it's all practice. And so we're going to give you some ideas here to help you use that weak side and practice training on your own or getting your players practicing that in warm-ups just to help them improve their weak foot. a little bit of acceleration after turning from those cones and just focus on getting as many touches as possible with that weaker side. Initially keeping the ball close to your foot is actually the best thing for the player. So some ball mastery drills can help brilliantly but also some little passing drills off the wall. So pass against the wall, control it. Pass against the wall, control it. You can do one touch, you can do two touch, you can do whatever the player needs. But when you're controlling the ball, we're not just trying to keep it as close to our feet as possible, we're trying to position it. So can we position it behind maybe another ball as an object? Can we move it into a space? Can we maybe try and actually keep it close to us, depending on what type of touch we need to take? So with your weaker foot, practice passing against the wall or against a parent or another player. So you're receiving it, setting yourselves up for another pass again. <laughs> the player gets, the more touches they get on the ball and the more confidence they build, the better they'll become with positioning that ball. Becoming a good both-footed player is about having that balance on the ball. So positioning it where you want to in order to set yourself up for the next phase. So that could be to set yourself up for a pass or to shoot. But what we must make sure is that we are practicing it a lot. If we're always trying to shift our body to get up the ball onto our strong side, we're going to lose out on that weaker side. It's practice, it will have, they'll have plenty of mistakes, lots and lots of mistakes, but the more practice they can take, the better they're going to be. So use that wall, it could be one of the player's best friends. It is really helpful, so use that wall, 
pass against it, get a touch out of your feet, and then maybe pass to an object. So we wanna start off with those closer touches, the dribbling, the ball mastery, the close control, getting that first touch in the position that you want it to go in. But eventually then we do need to develop that striking ability. I even see at the top level, players who've got the opportunity to take the ball onto their weaker side and drive it in across the goal, drive it at the, at, on target. But they take an extra touch to move it back onto their strong side, allowing the defensive player to get back in and potentially block that shot or cut off their angle. It happens all the time at all levels and it's something that really I think should be coached a lot in these younger age groups. The technique of this here in the next video and just see how technique will gain power, power doesn't then bring the technique. As you can see here from this freeze frame, toes are down, body weight forwards over the ball and a nice strong follow through. So developing a weaker footed player takes a lot of time. It's not something that happens quickly, as with most training within football or soccer. It's all about practice, getting player confidence, their confidence on the ball. So many players may make a mistake initially on their weaker side and think, oh, I'm not gonna do that again. And then for the rest of their lives, they're one footed. You know, they've got to be encouraged to make mistakes. Mistakes actually aren't a bad thing if the player is trying hard. Mistakes are bad if a player's not trying and becoming complacent. But if the player's trying really hard and pushing themselves beyond the level that they're currently at and they make a mistake, that's actually really stepping out of their comfort zone. So in regard to the left foot, encourage the mistakes. Encourage, you want to see more both-footed players out there, not players who are one-footed who just rely on striking as hard as they can on their strong foot. Can we have players who are comfortable at dribbling, comfortable at receiving the ball and comfortable striking with the ball on that weaker side? The more of these, the more opportunities those players will have to play at the higher levels, giving them adaptability in the positions that they can play and more chances to take those opportunities that come to you. Thanks for watching guys. Once again, if you like what we've got, the content that we produce, please feel free to like and subscribe. When you hit the subscribe button, there's a little alarm bell next to the notification box. Hit that and you'll get notified for every single time that we release a new YouTube video. Thanks again and we hope to see more both footed players out there uh, playing the game and hopefully some of those players are yours and succeeding within football. Thanks very much and see you soon.